Hi, I'm Eric from Rocky Mountain ATVMC.com, and today we're going to do a quick video on how to pack for your next adventure ride. Okay, so what we have here today is, you know, I'm, I'm using a bunch of different stuff, and it, it just depends on the ride, ride you're going to go on. So for this ride, this is the combination of luggage that I'm choosing. So starting with, we're going to start with these tank panniers up here. And, you know, there's one on each side, of course. But inside here, I have, I have a, one of my water bottles. I mean, that and you can see, seen some miles. I normally carry three water bottles, but that's just one of them. I kind of have that one there for, for drinking and, and close to me. But that's pretty much everything that's in this side right here. You've got my tool pack, and this has... You know, we, we have another video that uh, we go over what to put in your pack and what to carry. So all of that stuff's inside my pack. Okay, now moving to this other side, um, more pieces in here. But the first thing coming out is uh, my uh, Tusk portable power and jump starter. And with that is the jumper cables. So I've got tubes. So I've got a front tube and a rear tube. Um, I've got a little pump. And then I have a bag that has all the connectors for that pump. So you've got your cigarette lighter adapter, you know, just the other parts and pieces that go with that. Just kind of found a little bag that was about the right size. Um, and then I also have a buddy tow. So a tow strap. And then some rock straps. So in case I've, you know, I'm, I'm wearing my uh, jacket, I don't want to wear it, it's hot. I can strap it over the back of the machine. And then I have a Tusk Tire Repair Kit. So this has patches, plugs, um, CO2. I mean, it, pretty much anything you need to, to fix a flat tire right there in that pack. Okay, next we're going to look and see what's inside my uh, Enduro tank bag. So there's some things that, you know, I, I want to get to quick and easily. Uh, I've got some things like uh, some earplugs for those long highway sections. I've got some extra Ziplocs in here, some gallon size Ziplocs in case uh, I get into some rain and they need to hurry up and get my phone dry. Um, I've got an extra pair of gloves, so I wear dirt gloves a lot. And uh, I, I like to have an extra set close at hand. Um, one of my favorite items that I never knew that I was gonna need is a, a headlamp. When you get camping and you need both hands to cook dinner or, you know, both hands to work on a machine or, or, or whatever. These things are <laughs> they're a lifesaver. I, I bring a, a pair of safety glasses, so not really safety glasses, but clear lenses. So on our adventure bikes, we can flip up our shield or and I, sometimes when the going gets tight, I like my shield up, get a little bit more airflow. But at night, when the sun goes down, uh, your sunglasses don't, don't work to protect your eyes for that slow going. So I've got these. I normally wear my sunglasses during the day and then as soon as it gets dark, I'll throw those in. Um, I always carry a hard map. You know, I, I run the GPS's. I've got the, the Garmin Zumo. Um, I also have the InReach. So I pretty much know where I'm at at all times uh, using these two items, but I, I always like a hard map. Just some, some other things, so some charging cables. So to keep my phone charged, uh, to keep, uh, even the little the portable power thing charged um, some more cables now on to shield care i've got right here i've got a small bottle of plexus for the outside and then i've got some uh, some anti-fog for the inside of my shield and i'll use it on my sunglasses as well i also have uh, a lighter i have some waterproof matches uh, an air gauge. I found that you always need an air gauge. Always checking the air pressure. So it's nice to have that close at hand. I've got a little thing of uh, DEET, of bug repellent. And then of course some snacks. I like to carry an assortment. You never know when you're going to need and what kind of snacks. And then some gum. And that's, that's what I have inside here. So this isn't, this isn't my main food, of course. This is just what I have close at hand. This is what I'm going to be using on the road. Um, it's kind of disorganized in here, but I know what's in there and it actually works pretty well for me. 
so moving on to the back of the bike, I have the Enduro Duffel, and it's on there pretty securely. Um, one thing I do like about how it's mounted is, you know, I can always tighten it up. I can use different straps. I can use more straps. I've I've not ever lost a soft bag off the back. I I really like these soft bags back here. So yeah, we'll just take it off so we can show you what's inside this thing. I'm guessing it's going to amaze you. You know, attached to the side of this, I do have the bottle holders. They're actually sold separately, but I've got those sitting there that's separate of the bag. All right, now moving on to our Rocky Mountain uh, saddlebags. So, come off pretty easy. It's just another roll top bag. And they have a waterproof liner, so pretty simple just to pull that liner out ready to go. I've got a couple more things in here I want to show you. One of them, I've got my Giant Loop Bushwhackers and those are handguards. So if the weather gets bad, if it gets cold, it's one strap, they go on over the top of your existing handguards. They're pretty beat up, you can see. I, I take these things everywhere. But I really do like how much water and cold they take off your, you know, keep from your hands. Um, and then you know, depending on the ride. So this ride, we're gonna do some miles, and so I've got an, an extra quart of oil. So moving on the other side here, it's the same thing, just on the other side of the bike. These kind of seem kind of scary till you get used to the system and how it works, but they, they look like they might be a pain to work with, but it's actually pretty slick, so. All right, so here we are with the Enduro Duffel, and uh, this basically has all of my uh, my tent, my sleeping bag, so all, all the actual camping stuff I have in here. So first thing out, I've got my tent stakes. So I've, this the tent I use, this Eureka Midori, takes five tent stakes. And I've set it up so I know exactly what it takes. Okay, I've got the waterproof bag in here, so you've got your waterproof liner. And inside that, I've got my Big Agnes 15 degree sleep bag. So it's, it's pretty compact, but you could actually go a, a bigger. I think you could get the zero in here. And with that, I've got the Q-Core insulated mat that's part of the Big Agnes sleep system. Um, and then I have the Eureka Midori 2 tent. And this tent is just right for what we're doing. Um, it's actually a two-person tent, but by the time I get all my gear uh, inside out of the rain, uh, this, this works really well. The vestibule's just the right size. Put your boots underneath it. Um, I really dig this tent. All right, so then, one of my favorite things, we have the Joey chair. Uh, it's, it's the camp chair that, I mean, you can see that's a pretty small package. And then, underneath the waterproof liner, or separate is my footprint. And this is a footprint, this is just a homemade one we made out of Tyvek uh, for this tent. So it's gonna be dirty, it's gonna be wet. Um, so I keep that separate. All right, now we're moving on to what I have in my saddlebags. So you pack for the ride, you know, and so this one, it looks like we could get some weather. We're probably gonna have some highs in, six, in the 60s. So I've got some extra cold weather stuff that I norm normally wouldn't wouldn't uh, carry this time of year. But I've got things like a, you know, I've got a beanie. Um, I've got a light balaclava. I've got a big cold weather balaclava. I have my mid layer. So I've got my jacket and I have my pants. So these are both fairly thick mid layers. You can see they're pretty bulky. And then I have my electric, my heated gear. So I have a jacket in here and the controller, and then also my heated gloves. I also have some heated pants, but the heated pant liners, but I, I don't think I'm gonna encounter them on this trip, so. And then moving on to the food. And so inside these bags, I like to put things in different bags. And these are just things that I found work. Um, they're not designed necessarily for this, but, but I, I kind of like to be able to to get into my bag and say, okay, I'm gonna go cook dinner or cook breakfast, and I want everything. So I know that if I grab these two, I've got everything I need for my cooking. Um, and inside here, so 
I've got my milk tea. I have some cup of noodles. I have coffee. I have, um, these are just chicken bouillon cubes. Uh, instant oatmeal for breakfast. Um, my creamer. Then I've just got a little cheap cup. And then I have my jet boil. So, I mean, all of that fits into that little pack right there. There's quite a bit going on. And then over in this other one, I normally do a couple dehydrated meals and then I'll also do like a, a cup of soup. So, so these are just some new ones I'm trying, um, but they're, you know, I've got some dehydrated meals and then um, these cool little things. So that's a, it folds flat, but it's actually, it's a, it's a plate. So most of the time I'm eating out of the, the package. So, you know, with the dehydrated stuff, you eat out of the package, the stew, you eat it out of the, the can. But I don't know, I picked these up and thought I'd give them a shot and see how much I like them. Um, so also with my food, so I have more Ziplocs. So these are the gallon size Ziplocs. And these are primarily for garbage. You know, that's something that I didn't, uh, you know, you don't anticipate the first couple times and then you're like, man, I wish I had a place for my garbage. So I carry that. Um, I also have some plastic utensils. So that's pretty much it on my food kit. My clothes. So I, I don't know who to give credit to this, uh, for this system, but someone told us about the gallon Ziploc system. And I, I don't know if it was on a forum or what, but so what, what we've, we've kind of been using is it's a, it's a day. So each day is a Ziploc. So a four day trip, I have three days worth of clothes here. So I have inside here, I didn't put my underwear in here just for the sake of scaring you guys, but normally I'd have a, my fresh set of underwear I've got a fresh pair of socks, riding socks. I've got a fresh uh, jersey, riding jersey, like a wicking material, and whatever skins I'm using. So I have some moto skivvies in here. I have some more thermal in this one, and then some slick, uh, like bike skins in this one. Uh, vented jersey instead of the, the base layer in this one, another base layer in this one. But they're pretty much, so what happens is you get to camp, you set up your camp, uh, you go in and you clean up and change out into your leisure clothes and that's what I have here. So I have a pair of shorts that can be a swimsuit as well um, and then some regular socks and a t-shirt just for relaxing around the fire or you know wh whatever I'm doing that night even if we're at the motel or whatever I can pretty much go out on the town in these clothes. So the, these clothes are separate but when I get ready to go I change out everything. So changing out my underwear, changing out my socks, and then the dirty stuff goes back into the same bag and the bag goes back in your pannier or your saddle bag. So everything's contained in this gallon size. And we found that this gallon size works perfect. Um, you know, the Ziploc of course keeps things pretty dry. Um, moving on, so something that I won't go without is baby wipes. So clean up after the day, I'm a big fan of the baby wipes. And then I just have a little bag of my toiletries, my, uh, you know, I've got some ibuprofen in here. I have uh, sunscreen, toothpaste, underarm, you know, just, just your basic stuff. So I have everything I need, but it's, it's not luxurious by any means. You're gonna run into people out there that have less. They, they like more of the minimalist approach. You know, they're, they're not gonna have change clothes every day or fresh underwear every day or, or whatever. And they're, their meals are gonna be different. You know, I've, I, I've done quite a bit of research on, on meals and, and what you guys like out there as far as meals go. And, and everybody's different. I mean, there's some people out there that want to cook. I like to ride on these things. I don't like to spend, I don't like to do a lot of work in camp. And so anything that can be simpler and easier, I'm all for. You know, I'm a, I'm a pretty big guy. I don't use a ton of energy when I ride. So making sure I have you know, enough calories every day isn't a super big deal. If you have other needs, if you have, 
you, you know, if you're going on a, a long ride and you need to sustain yourself for a long, long time, of course your, your system, your setup's gonna be different. But for me, for the casual guy that we're just going on three, four day trips, maybe week long trips, this, this worked great for me. So one thing I touched on a minute ago was water. So when I show up, as you can see, I'm gonna use a lot of water. Every time I show up at camp, I've got everything almost here needs some water. So I like to show up at camp with three small bottles of water. Um, I just know that that's how much it takes. Three of those bottles, I need to show up at camp with three. And because you've got dinner, you've got breakfast, you've got brushing your teeth, you've got a little bit of cleanup, and it, I've tried to do it with two, and I was nervous the whole time that I was gonna run out, and you know, so I wasn't using what I wanted to use, so. And, and I normally stash those wherever I can. One thing we have learned is you do not wanna put these in with your clothes. Uh, especially in a hard pannier. Uh, you'll, you'll break them, you'll get all your clothes wet. So that's why I use the, the bottle holders or I'll stuff them in a tank pannier or I'll stuff them somewhere else. I just don't want to get everything wet. So we've, we've actually put this all back together in some different uh, luggage just to kind of show you the difference. So what we have here is we have the uh, Expedition Dry Duffel and then we have the Tusk panniers. These are the large panniers, not the mediums. Um, but uh, so everything we just laid out, everything we talked about is, is, is on this right now. And so just looking inside here, you can see that there's quite a bit of room. There's tons of extra room in here that uh, if you need to bring something else or carry extra luggage, that's, you know, just for a frame of reference, that's how much more room there is. So I, I would use this, um, this setup. This is just a different setup. You know, it's, it's bigger. There's quite a bit more space in there. Um, so if I'm gonna do a trip where I'm doing lots of street, I'm using the hotels a lot, maybe I've got my lovely wife with me, wh whatever it is, you know, and I need more luggage space, this is, this is what I'm gonna use. Essentially, it's unlimited. You can, you can have any setup you want on your bikes, and, and you see it all the time. You know, you've got guys with duffel bags, regular duffel bags, or, or street saddle bags that are they're tied on these things, and, and they seem totally happy with it. So there's, there's a lot of different options. So one, one more option, you know, we talked about going big. This one's more going small. So these, these bags, the Enduro series, you don't even need uh, pannier racks or anything to to, to hook onto your bike. They basically just go over the top of the rear of your seat. And I actually, the last time we went out, I used these bags and I was able to get everything that, that we talked about in our kit besides the cold weather stuff. So I didn't have my cold weather balaclava, I didn't have um, my heated gloves, and I didn't have my heated uh, jacket, my heated liner. But everything else went into these saddle bags and that enduro duffel. And so, you know, it just depends how you want to do it. And it seems like the, the longer I do this, the, you know, the smaller I try to make my kit and the smaller I try to, to be lighter, um, you know, lighter is always better, especially when you're, you got the weight back at the back and it's high up. So, so th this is a good option. And there's, there's other bags that are about this size that I think would work fine as well. Whatever way you decide to go, um, I want to, you know, basically tell you guys thanks for, for spending the time and getting to know what's inside my camping gear, inside my kit, inside my bags. Um, I hope you guys get out there and get on an adventure. And when you do need things, make sure you check us out at RockyMountainATVMC.com.